Post time is six minutes away. Here are the starters. Number one, Katie Can Scoot, owned by Ron Spigelski and Richard and Ruth Suda, trained by Jim Ferguson. Rick Schrock is in the bike. Number two, Max Only Men's, owned by Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky, trained by Roy Finn, and his brother, Fred Finn Jr., is up. Number three, Egyptian Iquan, is owned by Elizabeth Avenetti of Chrisman, Illinois, by Ralph Levitt of Indianapolis, Indiana, trained by Earl Avenetti Sr., his son David Avenetti is the driver. Four Romantic Scooter is owned by Michael Ben Wilt of Savannah, Missouri, trained by Irvin Miller with Andy Miller in the bike. Number five will be Six of Diamonds, owned by Jay Ingram of Davenport, Iowa, and Ron Michael Lon of Chicago, Illinois, trained by Tex Motes of Fairfield. Dale Heitman is up. Number six is Looking Smart, owned by Steve Newcomb of Chicago and Terry Duffy of Lamont, trained by Tex Motes. Mike LeChance will drive. This is number seven that you're seeing now on the monitor. Judy Booty, owned by Rod O'Kelly of Terre Haute, Indiana, trained by Kathy Finn. Her cousin Randall is the driver. There's number eight, Mystical Luck, owned by Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois, trained by Dirk Simpson, Tony Morgan in the bike. Number nine, Rumble and Rain, is owned by Derek and Sheila Weatherall of Urbana by Bart Seals from Mason, Illinois, trained by Derek Weatherall, the driver, Tom Simmons. Here's a look at number six, Looking Smart, whom we mentioned earlier. Again, owned by Newcomb and Duffy, trained by Tex Motes. Mike Lachance is in the bike. And rounding out the field will be number 10, GCT Blade, who is owned by Alexander D'Onofrio of Medina, trained by Cindy Anderson as she is the driver. Post time in less than four minutes. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Judy Booty guns out for the lead. Rumble and Rain will try to go with her on the outside, followed by Max Only Men's, the unbeaten filly, who's down in third toward the rail. Katie Kanskook gets away fourth, followed by Romantic Scooter up on the outside. Then Egyptian Iquan settles back toward the rail, just in front of Six of Diamonds. Looking smart next to last, and GCT Blade is the trailer. Back up front, there goes Rumble and Rain to the lead, clear by a length and a half. Judy Booty is now second, 27 seconds for the first quarter. And here comes Max Only Men's, the unbeaten Indiana bred filly. Moves up on the outside from third to second to the lead. And here comes Romantic Scooter, moving up with a flourish onto the backstretch. Romantic Scooter was fourth a moment ago. And in the 16th of a mile, she's the leader now by three parts of a length. Romantic Scooter takes over by a length, clear of Max Only Men's. Rumble and Rain gets a tap of the whip. In third, Egyptian Iquan is challenging Judy Booty. He's on the outside of her, challenging her for fourth. Then Katie can scoot back toward the rail. Inside of Six of Diamonds, looking smart is on the outside of GCT Blade, whose last 57 seconds was the time for the half. Driver Andy Miller managed to control the pace once he got to the top with Romantic Scooter by a length and a half to Max Only Men's, and here comes Six of Diamonds moving up on the outside. Six of Diamonds to challenge Romantic Scooter. A half length separating them. They're at the three quarters. Max Only Men's is racing third, three lengths off the lead. Then Rumble and Rain, Judy Booty, and Egyptian Iquan, who flattened out off the three quarter, 127 and two. Six of Diamonds puts the test now to Romantic Scooter. They're stride for stride. Racing by the eighth pole. Romantic Scooter on the inside. Six of Diamonds gets ahead in front. Max Only Men's is third. Six of Diamonds drawing clear in the final strides of Romantic Scooter. Six of Diamonds gives Dale Heitman his second winner of the day. Six of Diamonds won it by three. Romantic Scooter was second. And Max Only Men's crossed the line third in 154 and four. Result official on the fourth race, the 5-4 Exacta, $11.60. Trainer Tex Motes has his second winner of the day. He has been the leading trainer at the Illinois State Fair on multiple occasions. Dale Heitman, two wins today, six wins for the meet, which ranks him second right now behind Andy Miller. And in the winner's circle, here is the winner of the fourth race, folks. Number five, Six of Diamonds, Dale Heitman with the winning drive.
The winner is by Arts Place, a two-year-old colt owned by Jay Ingram of Davenport, Iowa, and Ron Michaelon of Chicago, Illinois, bred in New Jersey by White Birch Farm. And we told you wrong, with that win, driver Dale Heitman is now tied with Andy Miller for most wins of the week at the Illinois State Fair.